How's it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So iOS 17 is finally here and I'm gonna explain you why if you have an iPhone 10R, 10S, 11 or SE2, you shouldn't update. Let me explain. So I don't recommend that you update your iPhone to iOS 17 if it has the A12 and A13 processor. So let me go through those models once again. So the iPhone 10R. 10s and 10s max of course 11 11 pro and 11 pro max and se2 second generation all those iphones either have the a12 bionic or a13 bionic and you shouldn't update specifically because of that and trust me it's not just me Apple themselves, they know that many iPhone users, especially the ones with slightly older iPhone models, won't update to iOS 17. They don't wish to do so. And Apple knows that because they make it very easy for you to stay in iOS 16. That's right. So if you're still in iOS 16, you have two choices, two possibilities. You can either go ahead and update to iOS 17 or you can stick to iOS 16, update to iOS 16.7, and you're still gonna get all the security updates and everything you need to keep using your iPhone, keep running, no problem at all, in iOS 16 with all of the security that iOS provides you. And you can stay on iOS 16 for as long as you want, like throughout the next months and even next year, because Apple will continue updating iOS 16 with security updates for many, many months until next year, as I said. They'll do exactly the same for iOS 16, so you'll still be able to get those software updates and be safe in iOS 16 without updating to iOS 17. But then you may be thinking, okay, but why? Why shouldn't I update to iOS 17? And well, there are actually a few reasons. Reason number one being, if you have an iPhone 10R, 10S, 11, and SE2, you won't get many of the new features in iOS 17. Uh, I have them here because there are quite a few. I'm gonna read out a few of those. So you're not gonna get the new autocorrect, the new keyboard prediction, the new FaceTime effects, some accessibility features like personal voice, which is an AI feature. Uh, you won't get point to speak, uh, because this feature is exclusive to iPhones with the LiDAR scanner, so other iPhones won't get it either. But again, the 10R, 10S, 11, and SE2 won't. And even the standby mode, which is very, very nice. A lot of people liked it, but it really works well only on the iPhones with the always on display. So the iPhone 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, and the new iPhone 15 Pros as well. So uh, not on older iPhones either. So then those are just a few of the features that you're not gonna get, even if you update to iOS 17. On top of that, older iPhone models tend to struggle when they are the last to update to a new major software update. So you will definitely have problems with battery life because the new operating system is gonna demand much, much more than your iPhone is generally used to and designed to. So iOS 17 is always gonna be pushing your processor, therefore your battery, and you won't have a really good battery life it's actually the contrary. And the same goes for performance. You will definitely notice that your iPhone, your older iPhone will become slower, will have more problems, and it'll just feel dated and old, if you ask me, after you update. And of course, I'm saying that this will happen, I'm confirming, because that's what happens with most of the cases, with pretty much everyone that updates their older iPhones. But of course, this is not 100%. Some users, and it depends a lot on how they use their phones and uh, if they really, really push them a lot or not, uh, sometimes they have a good experience. So you may have people that have a 10R, a 10S that will update to iOS 17 and have a great experience. It happens, okay? It happens. But that's not the majority of the cases. And my idea here is to prepare you because this may not be your case and you may really regret a lot updating to iOS 17. And please keep in mind that this is not forever, okay? You always have the possibility of waiting a little bit, waiting like September, October, those first few months, and then seeing how iOS 17 develops and update a little bit later on. 
and you will have this possibility. So it's not because you're updating your iPhone to iOS 16.7, as I showed you before, that you're gonna need to stick to iOS 16 forever. No, no, no. You can update to 16.7, wait a little bit, and if you want to, update later to iOS 17, or even you can update right now. No problem at all. Of course, I'm just giving you my advice, okay, my recommendation. But of course, you can go ahead and update right now, no problem, but if you wish to do so, I do recommend that you take a look at this card, link in the description of a video that I tell you what you need to do before you update to iOS 17, okay, how to prepare for this update. So this is super important if you wish to do it right now, no problem, but take a look at that video. It may save you. I mean it. And so that's literally it. That's what I wanted to tell you. That's my recommendation. That's why I think you shouldn't update your iPhone 10R. 10s, 11, and SE2 to iOS 17, at least not right now, okay? So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.